Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the logo and particles media file, which we will be using in the logo reveal. You can download this files from the below link in the description. Now let's create our logo reveal, create a new composition. Name it as logo animation. For this composition, the time duration will be 7 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer. For this background layer, in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to the solid layer. Set start of the ramp to center. Change shape to radial ramp. Here for this background layer, you can set any color of your choice. Set ramp scatter value to 500. Perfect, now let's add the logo to the timeline from project panel. Drag the logo to the timeline. Scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Now pre-compose the logo. I will name it as Logo Comp. For this logo composition, we will create mask, go to layer, select auto trace. Select the preview to see the mask for logo. Hit OK. Now for this logo composition, let's add Saber effect, in effects, from video copilot, select Saber. If you can't see these Saber effects, then you need to install the Saber plugin. Saber plugin is available for free, download link for Saber plugin is provided in the description. For this Saber, we will use preset, energy. In customize core, change core type to layer mask. Perfect. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for start offset. At 4 seconds. Change start offset to 100%. You can hide this mask visibility. You can see the preview. Now at 1 second, create keyframe for end offset, change end offset to 0% Now go at 5 seconds Change end offset to 100% You can press U to view the created keyframe for this logo composition You can see the preview Change end size to 0% You can see the complete preview Perfect. Now let's add the time expression for the mask, while pressing ALT key, click on stopwatch of mask evolution, enter expression, time, 100. In distortion, glow distortion, change wind direction offset to, minus 40 degrees, In render setting, change composition setting to transparent. Perfect. 
Saba one is ready. Now let's create duplicate of this Saba, press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. For Saba 2, change preset to core. To set the same color for Saba 1 and Saba 2, we will copy the glow color from Saba 1. For Saba 2, paste the color code here. Perfect. Set glow speed to 0. Set glow bias to 0. To make Saba 1 visible, for Saba 2, change composition setting to Add. Perfect. Now let's again create duplicate of Saba 2. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. For Saba 3, change preset to Meteor. Change the glow color. Here we will change the glow intensity to 480%. Change core size to 0.50 Let's see the complete preview Perfect Now for this logo composition We will again add the Saber effect In effects from Video Copilot, select Saba. For Saba 4, change preset to Simple Orange. In Customize Core, change Core Type to Layer Mask. Let's change Glow Intensity to 15%. Now make sure you are at start of the timer line. Create Keyframe for Start Offset. Change Start Offset to 100%. Now at 1 second, change start offset to 0%. Now let's change end size to 0%. Now at 4 seconds, create keyframe for core size. Go at 5 second and 15 frames. Change core size to 0. Now while pressing Alt key, Click on stopwatch of mask evolution, enter expression, time, 100. For Saba 4, in render setting, change composition setting to, add. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this logo composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. We will use this below logo composition as logo shadow. Change it to 3D. Press P to bring up the position. Place it below the logo. Now press R to bring up the rotation. Now change rotation value for X as shown. Perfect. Now for shadow. In effects and preset. Search for Gaussian blur. Add it to the shadow composition. Change blur dimension to horizontal. Now increase the blurriness value. Set it to near about, 70. For shadow composition, set opacity to, 40%. Perfect. From project panel, let's add the logo composition to the timeline. Press T to bring up the opacity, now at 1 second and 15 frames. Create keyframe for opacity, at start of the timer line, change opacity to, 0%. Place this logo composition at 3 seconds and 15 frames.
perfect. Now add this particles media file to the timeline. For particles media file, change mode to add. For particles media file, press T to bring up the opacity, at 1 second. Create keyframe for opacity, at start, change opacity to, 0%. Now change all the logo compositions to 3D. Create a new camera layer. Now create a new null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null layer. For null, press P to bring up position. At end of the timeline, Create keyframe for the position. At start. Change position value for z-axis as shown. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our fire logo reveal animation is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.